No matter what the project is, the creatives always want to see the closest representation to the final product as early on in the creative process. When I first walked on the set and the wall was up and we started to look through the camera, it, it really started to feel like I was just filming in this actual location. We can track a camera's position in space in real time and render its perspective so that we can compellingly convince a camera that something else is happening in front of it that really isn't there. The thing to keep in mind is that the 3D world that you see on the wall is also a 3D scene that you can manipulate in a real engine. So this gives the filmmakers full flexibility to make any change they want to the scene live. So it's really exciting to see that we can, you know, use the real-time lighting to not only change the environments virtually, but also have it affect the onset lighting as well. This opens up kind of like a virtual playground to shoot in. We've tried to expand the engine to be a very collaborative platform. So the director of photography, the director, they can all go into the scene and make modifications as they wish, as opposed to waiting for months and months. In this new frontier of virtual production, the filmmaker is more grounded into the scene that they're shooting, into the story they're trying to tell because you can interactively change the world, it, it brings all of those departments together because each one of them has a role in how this world is portrayed at some point along in the production. It's, uh, it's been my dream to get computer graphics to the point that they're totally photoreal. And I've loved video games and movies all my life, and this is bringing the best of them together.